What a great day to be an American! What a great day to be a Virginian! And what a great day to be in Charlottesville, Albemarle County, campaigning for Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan! We are on the eve of an election, and we stand in the shadow of one of our great founders, Thomas Jefferson, who gave us the De Declaration of Independence, who's set forth on that paper and set forth on this continent the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And because of the founding generation, and because of every generation since that time, for those who have pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor, this election is so important. This election is about those promises. This election is about every generation that has given its last measure for the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is for ourselves, but more important, it is for our children and our grandchildren. It is a great honor to represent Central Virginia in the United States Congress. It is a great honor indeed to be with you all here tonight. I want to thank Bill and Shalene Crutchfield for opening up this, and all the employees who've opened up this place tonight. Thank you, Bill, Shalene. You know, Bill's story is the story of the American dream. This is a man who started his business in his mother's basement. These are the stories of America. These are the stories that we love. These are the stories of Henry Ford. These are the stories of Thomas Edison. These are the stories of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. And it is that perfect marriage between a democratic representative government and a free market that makes it possible. And that's what this election is all about. That's what this election is all about, is recognizing that each and every one of us have the opportunity to do whatever we want to in in this life and that's what this election is about friends i want to thank each of you all for being here i want to thank each of you for what you have done and what you will do to make this election a success let's go back to 2010 and remember what happened in charlottesville and albemarle county when we sent the message to nancy pelosi that we don't want any more obamacare we do not want any more cap and trade and we don't want any more stimulus spending that's an election that that is the message that we sent in 2010 now's our time to send the message because nancy pelosi got the message but you know who didn't get it harry reed didn't get that message and that's why we need george allen and the president of the united states didn't get that message he doubled down on his record of failure, and friends, we knew we need a new voice in Washington. I am proud to be here with the real deal, friends. Our friend Paul Ryan, and let's thank him. Let's thank him and his wife, Jana. Let's thank his children, Liza and Charlie and Sam, for being willing to do what it takes to get our country back on track. I want to tell you, it is a great honor it is a great honor to be able to present to you the next Vice President of the United States, our friend, Paul Ryan.